Hello everybody, welcome to Musicianary Call. I'm Bongo Clive and um, yeah, it's great to have you with us and I hope we have a great time. I hope you're inspired and uh, you know, enthused to just create some sounds and release some sounds in your homes with your families and with your loved ones and with friends, whoever. Uh, Musicianary Call, if you've seen the taster video that I did, uh, you'll get an idea of what Musicianary Call is all about because I explained it a little bit in the intro. Um, but what it is with Musicianary Call is that, you know, we want to inspire people and encourage people, uh, especially people who don't consider themselves to be musicians. You know, as I said in the taster video, there are a lot of people, very gifted people, and you know they're running with their gifts and they're creating beautiful music and you can listen to their music, you can download their music, you can purchase their music, you can watch them on YouTube and it's fantastic. Beautiful worship music, glorifying Jesus, lifting up the name of Jesus. But what about ordinary people? What about the people who don't consider themselves to be musicians? That's what Musicianary Call is all about because I want to show you and help you uh, create a sound. Very simple approach. Create a sound that you can just delight in and um, that you can speak some psalms over and that you can release in your time of worship. So welcome to Musicianary Call uh, for Essence 2020. So Fantastic. I'm going to ask my Julie uh, to uh, read a psalm. So obviously I've pre-recorded it and uh, so she's going to read that psalm. Psalm 9 verses 1 and 2. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Juju. Musicianary Call. It's about us enjoying the presence of Jesus. It's about us sitting with him and delighting him. And uh, musically, a lot of the psalms that I kind of want to point you in the direction of, are written by King David, and David was a musician, and he was a worshipper, and we all know that. So, in your music time, when you pick up your guitar, or you sit at your keyboard, or you pick up your little drum, your little shaker, um, it might be a good thing to just read a little psalm, or read a portion of a psalm, and, um, and get yourself in the zone. So, having said that, uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, the Smart family in Swaziland. So thank you so much for your feedback uh, on WhatsApp. And um, so a big hi from Bongo right here in Wales for you guys in Swaziland. And I hope you enjoy Musicianary Call. Fantastic. Before we move forward, uh, I'd like to just look at the three elements that I wanted to pick up on certainly in the taster video and one was where I played the guitar and I wanted to show you how um, you could uh, strum one chord and that was the E minor chord okay and also how you could use some shakers like this okay these were made for me by a friend also, how you can um, pick up a drum, 
So if you've got a little small drum, um, whatever size drum you've got, if you've got one, or even if you just had a bucket and just turned the bucket upside down, uh, you could bang on the bucket and get a little sound out of that. So I've got my djembes with me. So the guitar, the shaker, uh, percussion, but the third, so really the shaker and the, and the djembe or the drum, that's the percussion side of it. The guitar obviously is going to provide the chords. And uh, the third element is our voice. Now, I don't consider myself to be a singer, but, you know, I will la la along to some chords that I've strummed. Some of you are great singers, some of you love to sing, some of you have got the gift of singing. I want to encourage you to sing, okay? Maybe sing the Psalms, you know? It can be done, and it has been done. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> okay, so, fantastic. Let's look at... Um, the, sh the, the shaker, yeah, let's look at the shaker, I think. So we've got some little shakers or even some little maracas that you might have, okay? And like I said, these were made for me. Lovely sound. Fantastic. I've got some claves here. So you will hear in my little backing track, because I've got a lovely little backing track that I've done, and it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you're going to like it, I'm sure you're going to like it, because it's very rhythmic, and it's got a nice Latin flavour to it. So, um, claves. Okay, that's the kind of rhythm that we all know. That's a, a very Western sound. You know, we're not going to go into any specialized kind of rhythms and Latin grooves and stuff like that, but I'm all about flavors. Okay, so we will have flavors. We'll have flavors of African type rhythms on the drums. We'll have flavors of a Latin groove in the, in the backing track and that kind of thing. Um, I'm not a specialist in anything. Right, so we have the djembe, okay, so here we have the djembe, and um, let's look at some basic tones that we can get with the djembe. Obviously, if you play the middle of the drum, you get the deepest sound, that's the deepest tone. Okay, that's your deepest tone in the middle of the drum. That's the bass area. And on the edge of the drum, you get your high tones. Okay? So, I've got this little way of uh, exploring the, these basic tones. So, for the middle of the drum, Okay, we're going to give that sound boom. So it's going to be like this, boom. Okay, so we do it again. One, two, three, and boom. And if you say boom as well, that's kind of nice. It's all fun, isn't it? Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three, and boom. Oh yeah, fantastic. On the edge of the drum, like I said, it's the high uh, tones of the drum, higher than the middle anyway. So we've got the boom in the middle, and on the right hand side, we've got what I'm going to call pa. Okay, so we've got pa and boom. And on the left hand side, although it's going to sound the same as the right, because, you know, we're not moving into specialists. Um, drum patterns and, and techniques here. We just want to create a sound. So I'm going to give that sound pa on the right and ta on the left. So we've got pa ta. So if I say pa ta boom, pa ta boom, 
okay? So I'll speak it and you play it. Okay, are you ready? Pa ta boom. Excellent, let's try it again. Pa ta boom. So it'd be good if you said it as you play it. Okay? Let's try it again. I'll say it and play it, and then you copy me afterwards. Here we go. Pa ta boom. And again. Pa ta boom. 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 Okay, we're going to swap the rhythms around a little bit and switch it up. So I'm going to start this one now. It's going to be boom, boom, boom. That's what you play. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And again. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And again, boom, 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 here we go. And again, boom, 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 here we go. Here we go, boom, pata, boom. Boom, pata, boom. Boom, pata, boom. Boom, 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 boom, here we go. And again, boom, 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 here we go. And again, boom, 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 here we go. And again, boom, 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 here we go. Here we go. Pata, pata, boom, boom. Pata, pata, boom, boom. Pata, pata, boom, boom. Boom, boom, pata, boom. Pata pata boom boom. Pata pata boom boom. Pata pata boom boom. Boom boom pata boom. Boom boom boom. Pata pata boom. Boom boom boom. Pata pata boom 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 Pata pata boom 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 Pata pata boom 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 pata boom Boom pata boom boom Pata boom, boom, pata boom, 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 pata boom. Well done, excellent. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna knock out a little groove on the on the djembe and you can copy me, okay? So here we go. Boom 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 Pata pata boom Keep it going boom 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 Pata pata boom And again boom 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 Pata pata boom, boom boom boom. Pata pata boom boom, boom boom boom. Pata pata boom, boom boom boom. Pata pata.
Okay, that was a bit of fun. So with the, the, the djembe, if you've got a djembe, you know, just explore the sound of the drum, explore the middle of the, the, the drum, listen to the sound you get from the middle, and explore the sounds you get from the edge. Okay? And get to know your drum. Yes, there are lots of amazing players. And there are all sorts of techniques that you can learn if you, if you want to go down that route. But if you just want to play a simple beat on your drum and just use it as a way of uh, enjoying your worship time as you focus on the Lord. One, you don't have to play it loud, okay? You can literally just play it nice and soft. I'm actually muting the sound of the drum right now. I'm keeping my left hand on the top of the drum. That's why it sounds like kind of thud, thud, thud. If I take my left hand off, it changes the sound again. like in your home, in your living room. You just keep your left hand on the top. So there's, there, there are all sorts of sounds that you can get from your drum. If you sit with your drum, Explore your drum, get to know your drum, get to feel your drum, become one with your drum, then you know what you can do and how what you do produces the sounds that you want. Fantastic. So that's the djembe. So we've got the sound of the bongos. Very different to the djembe sound. But on this setup with the bongos, you notice you've got a small, oh sorry, a small, you've got a larger head and a smaller head. So obviously the larger head is going to give you a deeper tone and the smaller drum is going to give you a higher tone. That's the large one. That's the smaller one. Okay, all I'm playing is right, left, right, 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 left, right, right, right. Now with the bongos, it's really important that you play on the edge of the drum. Okay, can't see that too good for the camera, but so you've got this edge and you've got that edge. And if you play on the edge, you get that sound. If you, if you play more in the middle, it kind of deepens the tone. Not easy to hold if you're not used to holding drums like these between your knees. Drums like these between your knees. There you go. So we've got, if I, if I carried on with the boom, pata, boom. So we've got boom, boom, boom. I'll go with the large one. Boom, pata, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, pata, boom. 
boom, boom, boom. Pata, pata, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pata, pata, boom. Boom, boom, pata, boom. Boom, boom, pata, boom. Boom, boom, pata, boom. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the djembe. I'm just going to come up with a little bongo beat this time. And I'm going to shout out some boom, pata, boom, pata, boom, boom, boom rhythms for you to play along to, okay? So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Pata, pata, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pata pata boom. Come on, boom boom boom. Pata pata boom. Boom boom boom. Pata pata boom boom. Boom boom boom. Pata pata boom. Excellent. Fantastic. So we've explored the djembe and we've explored the bongos. Fantastic. So what I want us to look at now is the guitar situation. So the chord that we're going to play is an E minor chord, but we're also, because that's how I... Uh, that's what I taught in the taster session, in the video, if you saw that. So you will see that it was around the E minor chord. So we're going to build on that. We're going to strum the E minor chord again. For those of you who are guitarists or can play a few chords, so stick with us. Um, this is about everybody just being given a way in. And then if you're more confident with the rhythm, you can add and you, you can embellish it, but the most important thing is, is that we move together as one, that'd be awesome. So, you notice that I've got two guitars here. I just want to point out the difference. They look pretty much the same. But one is a nylon strung guitar, which is this one. And that's a totally different sound. It's a more mellow sound. And especially for the backing track that I've created for uh, this video, you're going to hear how this guitar sounds really, really nice with this particular group. This is a steel strung guitar, and it's electroacoustic, and the nylon is also electroacoustic. So it means that I can plug it in 
with a lead into my amp. This one's a little bit louder than that one, so I have, haven't plugged it in. But the nylon string guitar, I have plugged it in because it just helps to raise the volume a little bit. So let's have a look at the E minor chord. So do you remember I said we're going to use the first two fingers for those of you just starting out. Um, I will say at this time that your guitar does need to be in tune if you are to play along in the same way that I'm playing and sound the same as what I'm doing. So you can, if you haven't got a tuner or you don't know how to tune your guitar up to a keyboard or something, you can download um, an app onto your phone. And uh, I've got a free app on my phone, very good. And it shows me, it helps me to tune up my guitar. And I use it all the time. So um, your guitar does need to sound like this. So that's the bottom E string. Okay. So it's the string at the top of the guitar, but it's called the bottom E or the low E. Then we've got the next string down, which is the fifth string. If you're counting from the thinnest string up, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've just played the sixth string, sixth string, and the A string is the next one below that. So your guitar needs to be in tune, that A string needs to be in tune with my A string. I'll play it again. Now obviously if your strings are not sounding the same as mine you do need to turn, I'm not going to tamper with mine now because it is in tune. but you will have to turn these tuning pegs until your string sounds the same as my one. Okay, then we're moving down to the D string which is the fourth string. So you count in one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the D string. I'll play that again. Got a bit of a vibration on that one, sorry. I'll play it again. So that's the D string. Then we're moving down to the third string. This is the G string, okay? So one, two, three for from the thinnest string, second, and then the G string. So here we go. So your G should sound like that. If it doesn't, you're going to have to turn the tuning pegs to get that sound right. I will play it again. So that's the G string. Now we're on to the second string. One, two, and that's the B string. That's the B string, I'll play it again. I'll play it one more time. Excellent. And the last string, which is the first string, number one. And that's the thinnest string on the guitar. This is the top E. So you notice you've got two E's. Two strings are tuned to E, the pitch of E. So you've got the top E string. This is the one we're tuning now. I'll play that again a bit louder. I'll play it again. I'll play it one more time because of the first time wasn't as loud. Now all your strings should have sound or should sound the same as mine. 
And then that way when we play chords and I teach you a chord or show you a chord, you'll be able to strum and it sounds the same, especially when you're going to be playing along to the backing tracks that I've done. Okay, so we've got E minor. Your first two fingers will go into the second fret. And the first finger is going to go on the fifth string. Your second finger is going to go on the fourth string. And you strum all six strings from the low E to the bottom. And you get that sound. So that's your E minor chord. Fantastic. So let's strum together. I'll count you in. One, two, one, two, three. And strum. And again. And strum. Four. Strum. Two, three, four. Strum. Two, three, four. Strum. Two, three, four. 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 Awesome, awesome. Okay, so that's your E minor. There's another chord that we're going to learn, and that's A minor. So your A minor chord, your first finger is going to go in the first fret. See these sections of the guitar? All separated by these bars, these wire bars. The first fret. Your first finger is going to go in the, on the second string, which is the B string. Your third finger is going to go on the D, which is the fourth string, in the second fret. Your third finger is going to go on the G string in the second fret. So you've got two fingers, your third, uh, so your second and your third finger in the second fret. Your first finger on the first fret of the B string. And you're just going to strum from the fifth string, which is the A string. And that's your A minor. Strum that again. One, two, three, and. And just listen to those chords. They're lovely chords. E minor and A minor. Should we strum it again? One, two, three, and. One more time. One, two, three, and. Fantastic. So you've got the E minor, and you've got the A minor. Now we've got a third chord. Now if you've just started out, I'm not expecting you to learn the, the, the third chord or even the second chord. Just get used to playing the E minor. But if you can play and you do know these chords, then we're going to play a D major. So we've got two minor chords. We've got the E minor and the A minor and then we've got the D major. Wow, fantastic. So the D major chord it starts in the second fret and also you've got two fingers in the second fret and one finger in the third fret. So, these fingers, your first finger is going to go in the second fret on the G string. Your second finger is going to go on the top E string in the second fret. And your third finger is going to go in the third fret on the second string, the B string. And you strum from the fourth string. Because that's the D. Okay, so your D string. And that sounds like this. One, two, three, and. Okay, that's really nice. The thing about the D chord, D major chord, is that you need to play it in the, the treble, uh, across the treble strings, really. 
because it's a nice bright sound. If you, if you strum all the way down all six strings when you're playing the D, it doesn't sound right. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to really go for that D string, which is a fourth string. One, two, three, four, and then you strum down. So that's your D major chord. Nice chord. You can do a lot with that chord as well. So I'm going to count you in for that one. Okay? One, two, three, and strum. One, two, three, and strum. One, two, three, and strum. One more time. One, two, three, and strum. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to strum the E minor. And then we're going to strum the A minor. And then we're going to strum the D major. And then we're going to go back to the E minor. Awesome. Okay, should we try that? One, two, three, four, and strum. On the E minor, then the A minor, and strum. Then the D, mi oh, D major, sorry. And then back to the E minor. And strum. Two, three. E minor again. And strum. Two, three. On the A minor. And strum. Two, three. D major. And strum. Two, three. Back to the E minor. And strum. Two, three. And again. E minor. Two. Three A minor, A minor two, three D major, D major two, three E minor, E minor two, three and again, E minor two, three A minor, A minor two, three D major, D major two, three E minor, E minor two, three. And stop. Wow, lovely, lovely, lovely. Well done. As I call the chords out, I won't always say D major. So I'll say E minor, A minor, and then I'll just say D. Okay, so, but you know that the D is, because there is a D minor chord, but that's not what it is. Okay, so that D refers to the D major chord. Fantastic. So, Let's move on to the backing track. And what I'd like to do is just go back to the percussion a little bit. Have a listen to this backing track. And, um, and then we'll see if we can bring in or help you to play along to the backing track. So what I've done is I've removed all the guitars from the track. And... We've just got the percussion part. So have a listen and see how we get on. One, two, three, four. So you can hear the clave in there. Oops. So the claves could be doing that. Shakers. So the shakers are in there as well. If you want to pick your bongos or find a little drum to play. Now we're not going to follow the, what I've been, what I've recorded there, but we're just going to put something else in, and I'm willing, I'll, uh, I'll just lead the way a little bit, and you can follow me. So we've got.
Okay, so that's not a bongo part because the percussion is quite busy. So we don't want to be too busy on top. You could add in. You could put it over there if you want. Oh yeah, nice. Let's do that again. I'm liking. One, two, three. Come on, bongo man. So that was the bongo part. Let's see what we can do with the djembe. <laughs> so you could play patabum. The thing about percussion, man, you just got to move in it. Patabum. Here we go. bring the guitars in, everybody's going to sound nice, just playing where they should be. What we don't want is we don't want people clashing in the rhythm and the rhythm and the timing just falling apart. That's your djembe pump. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to pick up the guitar. So I'm going to play the nylon strong, strong guitar this time. And it's a different sound. Can you hear how mellow that is compared to that one? That's your A minor, this is your D major, and back to your E minor. Wow. Okay, let's, let's uh, play along with this. One, two, three. E minor, four. here we go. Then A minor. Then D. Back to E minor. Oh yeah, E minor. A minor. D. E minor. E minor again, here we go. A minor. D. Back to E minor. Oh yeah, and again, E minor, A minor, D, E minor, and again, E minor, A minor, and a D, E minor, and again, a minor, D, E minor, E minor, A minor, and a D, E 
minor, E minor, A minor, and the D, E minor, E minor, oh sounds good, A minor, and the D, back to the E minor, and E minor again, here we go, and Oh yeah, A minor and the D, B e minor, E minor, A minor, to the D, E minor, E minor, A minor. To the D, E minor. Wow, fantastic. So there you go, three chords. And it's important that as you play through whatever chords you learn, and the sequence of those chords, the, the, the flow of those chords that you like, it's important that you develop fluent playing. There's got to be a fluency about your chord changes. Otherwise, you just won't keep up with certain songs and, and things that you would like to play. Okay, so as I said in the taster video, I would encourage you to learn chords. I'm teaching you E minor to start with. It is a fantastic chord. I love it to bits. I love minor chords. They give that kind of, you can go into the Middle Eastern feel, you can go into the Latin feel quite easy and some reggae feels and yeah, just world music. I love world music, as you can see. I'm not dressed as a rocker really. But, um, <laughs> so the minor chords are lovely, okay? Your E minor. Oh, that's so nice. That's your minor, your E minor chord. And then, of course, you've moved to the A minor. It's lovely. And then we've moved to the D major. And then back to the E minor. So, practice those, play them through, enjoy the sound. Really love the sound of the chords, you know, and some people they just want to learn chords and just move on to the next chord and move on to the next chord. And I think you're missing something if you don't spend time and just enjoy the chord. Strum the chord, listen to the chords, and enjoy the chord. I think at this point, you've probably got some little grooves on the end of your fingers. And that's to be expected. Okay? If your fingers are feeling a bit sore, don't give up. Some people do, they give up at this stage. It just becomes too painful for them. It doesn't have to be painful. And having said that, if you're just starting out on guitaring, maybe you need to think about getting a nylon strung guitar rather than getting a steel strung guitar because obviously steel strings they do cut into your fingers a bit. Not draw blood but they do leave deep grooves. So, the nylon string guitars might be a little bit milder, just a little bit more friendly, finger friendly, that's a good one, isn't it? Finger friendly. Finger friendly, uh, finger friendly strings. So you might want to consider getting a nylon strung guitar. Um, and you can get those quite cheap. It doesn't have to be anything like this, um, but you can get quite cheap nylon string or nylon strong guitars. Fantastic. 
Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, call up the same backing track with the guitar part. So I'll play that through and that's going to help us with the, the, you know, to play the chords and you're going to hear the track actually sort of how it gets built up and then towards the end I'll play the full blown track and uh, you might want to chill, you might want to continue playing, you might want to just, you know, imagine you're basking in the sun somewhere and whatever. So it's all good. I'm loving all this. This is the goodness of God. This is His blessing. This is His provision. This is His presence. So I hope you guys have been blessed through this. So I'm going to go and find the, the other track and call that up and then we can play that through. Right, I found the other track. Um, well, I found the track with the guitar part added to it now. So, have a listen to this. You might want to play your instruments One, to this. One, two, three, four. There's the A minor to the D, back to the E minor. Drummers, bongos. Okay, we'll just hold on there for a minute, Mr. Bongo. So, that was just the little bongo part added in, and you can hear that we've got the guitar part in there. Okay, so remember, it's the E minor to the A minor to the D major, back to the E minor. So I'm going to call up the other instruments in this track, so you'll get to hear how it all fits together. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so I've got the full track now ready to play. And uh, so get your drums, get your little shakers, 
and follow along and let's see how we get on. I'm going to play the nylon guitar this time. So remember guitarists, it's going to be the E minor, then it's going to be the A minor, then it's going to be the D major, and then back to the E minor. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Have a listen to this. One, two, three. E minor. A minor. D. E minor. E minor. A minor. D. E minor. Some of you might have gotten stretched a little bit through that one, but I uh, hope you love the track. I absolutely love it. I've, I've had such a great time. feel so inspired by the Holy Spirit to record that and uh, the way it all just came together is amazing. I, I love putting together little tracks like that and um, I'll be uh, getting stuff ready for my guitar, uh, Bongo's Rhythm Shack guitar, YouTube channel, hopefully. So. Uh, you'll be able to access stuff on there and um, some more chords and there'll be other backing tracks like this that I will do that people can then play along to and have fun um, guitaring or music making or your journey learning to play an instrument doesn't have to be painful it doesn't have to be like an uphill struggle so, um, yeah, I hope that Musicianary Call and also Bongo's Rhythm Shack resources enthuses you and inspires you to enjoy creating a sound and releasing that sound. I love it. Something that can sound quite complex, but when you, when you break it down, it's just three chords. But the element that really makes it sound like it's going somewhere is the rhythmic side of things. That's why I'm really, really excited about rhythm. Start with the downward strum. OK? 
okay? And count out or have a metronome. You can get an app even for your phone with a metronome. We'll just give you a... that you can play along to. One. Because timing is everything. Now when I do my backing tracks, I don't want them to sound robotic. I want it to sound organic. I want it to sound like there's a bunch of people playing. So the, the timing is not going to be like bang on, like those professionals that can really hit the beat on the beat all the time. But you do need to have a good sense of rhythm, guys. Otherwise, anybody you play along with, you won't be able to fit in with them and they won't be able to fit in with you. So, part of the way, or a good thing to develop earlier on in your journey, is to play to a click. If you've got a keyboard, you can hit one of the little drum patterns and play along to that. And just play on the, on the downward strum, down, three, four, strum, two, three, four, strum, two, three, four, down, just a downward strum, okay, so one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. really enjoy the rhythm, that downward strum, then listen to the sound of the chord, and one, Love it. And one, two, three, four. Then you can move to the A minor. Two, three, and two, three, four. Then to the D. And if you do two downward strums on each and back to the E minor. Two, three, four. E minor again. And one, two, three, four. A minor. And one, two. To the D and one, two, three, four. Back to the E minor. One, two, three, four. And again. And one, two, three, four. A minor. One, two, three, four. To the D. One, two, three, four. Back to the E minor. One, two, three, four. One more time round, and one, two, three, four. A minor, one, two, three, four. To the D, one, two, three, four. Back to E minor, one, two, three, four. Two, three, and start. Fantastic. Awesome. And then later on, you can play, uh, you could do that same, use the same chords because you want to stick with the same chord because you're, you're uh, developing fluency and you're changing because some of you might not find it easy to move from that E minor to the A minor or from the A minor to the D. But don't be discouraged, you know, it's going to take a while for your fingers to get used to finding where they need to go. It's called finger memory. But the more you do it, the more your fingers are going to get used to being where they need to be. Okay? So that's how it is. Sometimes people want to run before they can walk. But what I would say to you, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again, and say it again, and say it again, is strum each chord and love each chord. Listen to the sound of the chord. You've got six strings on your guitar, and uh, they all want to sound, in this case, they all want to sound the best way that they can, okay? So, when you strum a chord, that's so nice. Ah. That's lovely.
So as you go down each string, you want to make sure that you can hear, that you're not hearing something like this. So you're just going to end up with dead notes, okay? So you want to hear nice. Okay, then you can develop, once you've got nice clear sounds, nice clear notes coming through on each string, then you can start to think about the rhythm, which is your right hand, if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, sorry, I don't play left-handed guitar, sorry guys. But it's the same thing, you're just going to have to learn it the other way around. But then you can start to strum different types of rhythms. Stick with the, the chords that you know. Stick with the chords that you're learning. Don't get bored with those, because you will always use those in some, in some song or some composition. They're always going to come up. Maybe not all the time, but they're going to come up more often than not, if that makes sense. Okay, so if you wrote five songs, guarantee you're going to be using those chords in at least three of those songs. Okay. Um, so you've got the E minor and you've got the downward strum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can you could try this strum. sorts of rhythms you can learn. So I hope to be able to um, demonstrate some of those in the Bongos Rhythm Shack guitar lessons when they when I put them together and get get them up on YouTube. But for now uh, this has been Musicianary Call and Essence 2020 and I hope you've enjoyed. We're just going to play this track out again. And if you want to continue playing your instruments to it, you can. If you just want to chill, relax, you can. I've had a great time. <laughs> I've loved it. And I hope you have as well. So grab your instrument. Uh, me talking away should have given your fingertips a chance to kind of readjust and reshape. So here we go with the backing track one more time. One, two, three. E minor. One. A minor. D major. E minor. E minor. A minor. D major. E minor, E minor, A minor, D major, E minor, E minor, A minor, D major, E minor, oh yeah, keep it going, E minor.
じゃあ。That brings us to the end of Musician Eric Hall. Thank you very much for joining in. Hope you've had a good time. And I hope you're all safe. And maybe I'll see you in another video. Another time. Yeah. So stay blessed. Shalom. Thank、you